Welcome back. Today's tutorial is about item setup form. Use of item setup form. Inventory refers to all the items, goods, merchandise, and materials held by a business for selling and buying. Item setup uses to create inventory item code. User requires SKU or item code, brand name, product name, category to completely define any inventory item. There are some other optional data, minimum level, maximum level, reorder level, CE code, PCT code, stock type, and item type required to complete the detail of inventory item. Steps before setup an item. First of all, create item brands through items brand form. After creating an item brand create products in the system by using product form. After creating product types create item types. For example, the item is a refrigerator of dollars. After creating the item type create a product category. After created the item brand, product category, products, and item type. Then we use the item setup form to create a complete model. To set up an item, go to inventory module. In setup forms open item setup form. Press new button. Enter item code in item code text box. Then select item group by clicking the key down in the group text box. Select brand by clicking key down in the brand text box. Select product category. Select subcategory by clicking key down in subcategory text box. Enter item name. Add minimum level. Minimum level refers to the minimum quantity of a particular item of material that must be kept in the stores at all times. Add maximum level. The maximum level of inventory could be described as the maximum capacity of a business to stock goods, inventory or raw material, in its store, which may be due to reasons like demand limitation of goods, in production or sales, the storage capacity of business. Add reorder level. The reorder point, ROP, is the level of inventory that triggers an action to replenish that particular inventory stock. It is a minimum amount of an item that a firm holds in stock, such that, when a stock falls to this amount, the item must be reordered. Press the down key and select a secondary item. Secondary item setup is used to define a second compulsory or combined item. That will be minus or plus during sale and purchase if a particular item, for example, split air conditioner have two items one inner unit and one outer unit, then when you create an inner unit item code you need to define outer unit code in the secondary item. In this way whenever you will buy or sell split air conditioner, you will select inner unit item code and the outer unit item will automatically affect in the inventory balance. Select type. There is two type of items, physical inventory called items. And if company offer services, then you need to define inventory type service. Enter PCT code. Pakistan customs follow the HS code. Harmonized System Codes, or PCT Codes, Pakistan Customs Tariff Codes, for classification of goods. These codes consist of 8 digits where the first two represent chapter and second two represent subchapter, and after decimal place 4 digit represent code of the item. Enter CE Code. Many products require CE marking before they can be sold in the EU. CE marking indicates that a product has been assessed by the manufacturer and deemed to meet EU safety, health, and environmental protection requirements. 
it is required for products manufactured anywhere in the world that are then marketed in the EU. Enable can sale option. This option needs to enable if items are for sale purposes, if you enable only sale option item will be available in only sale module, and if you enable can sale and can purchase both options then the item will be available in both sale and purchase module. Enable can purchase option. This option needs to enable if items are for purchase purposes. If the item is both for sale and purchase purposes then you need to enable both sale and purchase checkboxes. Now press the active button to activate it. An active checkbox is used to activate and inactivate the items. If you inactivate the items you cannot purchase and sell that particular item. Press the save button. To edit an existing item setup record, press the search button to select record. A new window will appear. Select record from the list. And press the edit button. User can edit the following things except item code. Item code is not editable. Edit record as required. And press the save button. Similarly to delete an existing item setup, press the search button to select a record. A new window will appear. Select record from the list. Press delete button from the toolbar. If the following alert occur that record found in stock or sale, that mean user cannot delete record because this model have existing stock, as show in stock tab of item setup. Thanks for watching.